Hi everyone, my name is Beth Harvey and today I'm going to be giving my persuasive speech over why you should recycle. Recycling and some facts about the U.S. 9 out of 10 solid waste does not get recycled in the United States. In the United States alone, we throw away about 2.5 million plastic bottles every single hour. And it takes 500 years for the average size plastic water bottle to fully decompose. The amount of plastic saran wrap produced annually could shrink wrap the entire state of Texas. Glass bottles also take around 4,000 years to fully decompose. Energy saved. Recycling plastic saves twice as much energy as it typically takes to burn plastic. The amount of energy it takes to make 1.5 million tons of plastic could power 250,000 American homes for over one year. One recycled plastic water bottle saves enough energy to run a 100 watt light bulb for over four hours. Landfills. Studies show that nearly 80% of the items in landfills could have been recycled. Landfills often create soil pollution, which can greatly affect land and people around the landfill. Many studies have shown harmful chemicals found in the soil from landfills to create birth defects, skin problems, and even some forms of cancer. Air pollution from landfills consists of methane and carbon dioxide, which are extremely bad for our environments and trees. So the more you recycle, the less your trash and things end up in these landfills. It helps make them smaller. It helps these effects not to happen so much in the world. Reduction of pollution. Pollution can lead to visibility impairment in many health conditions if the pollution rises to a certain point. Over 3 million children younger than the age of 5 die annually from environmental pollution factors. Air pollution is one of the leading risk factors for death in the world. Often this is worse in uh, countries such as China and Afghanistan. I know a man personally who works for Cooper Tire, Tire in Texarkana, and he travels to China a lot for business trips and a lot of other Cooper Tire supervisor things. And he says as soon as you step off the plane, you can visibly not see 100 feet in front of you because the smog and the pollution is so bad. He says it's just hard to breathe there because it's so full of smoke in the air and it's just absolutely gross. Obviously, America is not that bad, but we still need to take care of our earth. Something as simple as making recycled paper creates 74% less air pollutants and 35% less water pollutants than creating new paper. Recycling also creates jobs. In the United States, we throw about $1.4 billion worth of recyclable packages and containers every year. So essentially, we're throwing money down the drain. 757,000 American jobs have been produced from re reuse and recycling businesses and activities. These jobs have provided nearly $36 billion worth of wages each year for these workers. So recycling is not only good for the environment, but it's really good for our economy, producing more jobs and helping the American people survive. It's not always easy. I recognize, um, especially being in a small uh, town like Magnolia or even Texarkana, it's hard. And 9 out of 10 people say that they would recycle if it's easier. Depending on your city, sometimes it is easier. You see the recycle rate in certain cities like L.A. and California and stuff is a lot higher. And it's because they have a lot more money in those cities to actually make it easier for the people to do so. I know that in Texarkana, especially in certain areas, because, you know, there's uh, different cities that branch off. But in my school, Redwater, whenever I was in high school, it was almost it was over 30 minutes to drive to the, the nearest recycling plant. And uh, so that's over an hour that you would spend driving there and back. It's a lot of time. We had a teacher that would uh, ask everyone to save paper in bins. And then at like each semester, the end of the semester, she would gather up all of those paper bins and she would take it to the recycling plant. But especially where she lived, I think it took her almost two full hours there and back to drive there and to actually drop off that paper. And they do give you some money, but it, she always said that it wasn't even worth her gas money. So sometimes people have to go way out of their way to really get some recycling done in places like Texarkana. And even in Magnolia, I know that the city trash no longer uses those blue recycling bins that you'll see. 
and it simply goes in with the rest of the trash. And so it's really hard, uh, especially when uh, you live in such small towns. But um, you can especially look on campus. The closest picture to it I could find was up here in the top. They have these divided recycling bins that will have like paper, plastic, and I think aluminum. And that is one really good way that we can recycle on campus. So what does this mean for you? Recycling doesn't have to be a huge life change. One small thing is better than nothing. Finding those trash bins that I just showed a similar picture to is super easy. Walking five more feet to one of those instead of a trash can and acknowledging that you have plastic and putting it in the little plastic thing is really good for the environment. Um, find someone in your community that will help you recycle. Like the lady that I had in high school that would take the uh, paper to the recycling plant. See if someone will do that for you. See if there's someone that's passionate about recycling that you know. Another easy way is to get a Brita filter in your dorm instead of buying water bottles all the time. It's going to save you money because eventually, if you think about it, buying that a case of water bottles every couple of weeks, it eventually adds up. Versus you have a Brita filter that you can just keep in your little mini fridge. It is very uh, eco-friendly and will save you money. Overall, recycling creates less pollution, uses less water, uses less energy, and it helps make our life better. It helps make the quality of life better in America and it helps even our little bit of reducing air pollution helps places like China where we see that the air pollution is absolutely horrible and in places like Afghanistan as well. So every little thing matters and even one single change in your life to um, making a change to just recycle a little bit more makes a huge difference. So once again, my name is Beth Hervey. Um, this is why you should recycle even a little bit. A little bit is more than you think. And thank you so much for your time.